now in rack three. Boy, he found a good place to break from there. Look at this break. Coming down on the nine, coming down for the nine. I don't think the two nine is on. It just didn't quite feel. It actually went too far. If the two ball would have stopped a few inches sooner, he would have a billiard on the nine or a carom. And he didn't go far enough for a combination. It's not quite far enough. So what thinking? we might see here, John, is Ralph may roll the two ball forward to the side rail and lay the cue ball right on the nine ball. It's a good safety. He may be banking the two. Yeah, he's going cross corner. Nice shot. That's a great shot. Have a look at the position on the red three. He knew exactly where that cue ball was going. Well, Suke very quickly to get into the groove in this match. He saw that he had the right angle. If he banks the two in, he's going to slide right up the table for the three, and he did. Perfect position. He'll draw back right underneath his hand and back out. And, oh, he miscued. A miscue. Very rare you'll see one of these top pool players miss Q. That's the first one we've seen on one of these on one of these TV matches. Bad, bad mistake at that point because the rack was wide open for Ralph. He's working on his tip. He's roughing his tip up. That's right, Jay, just roughing up his tip to allow the chalk to stick to the tip a little easier. Got a shot now. That's not a good safety from Efren there. Yeah, Efren was trying to hide the cue ball behind the six. And as you can see, Ralph has got a shot at the three ball. It's open. Very long shot, though. Especially after you just missed cued. He's really working on his tip. He's really working on a tip. That's right, Jay. After a miscue like that, he wouldn't have expected to get back to the table so quickly especially against Efren Reyes from the Philippines. He doesn't want to do anything fancy here. He just wants to roll the three ball in. As you can see, the four is right there. If he makes the three, the cue ball is going to drift out for the four. No. This is very uncharacteristic play from Ralph Suke. First a miscue, then a miss on a relatively straightforward pot. Let's He's a little shook again. up by that miscue. It's not usually the tip that caused you to do that. It's because he wasn't cueing properly on the cue ball. He was a little careless there. He was probably looking at the position he wanted to get on the four and just made a bad hit on the cue ball. Now Efren's in good position to take this rack. He's run a little straight on this four. The four into the top right-hand corner. He's got a couple of options. He could run through and then get play for the five into the bottom right. Or he could just draw back. Take the five into the center bag. Efren's taking his time over this one. He doesn't like the position he's in. When you see him come around and take a look at the five ball like that, that means he wants to shoot in the side. So he'll draw the cue ball off the four. See, when you see him cueing low like that, he's bringing the cue ball back. He's giving up some serious thought, though. He's got to draw back. He doesn't want to go too far. If he goes too far, he'll be behind the nine. Well, he played very carefully. The problem here, John, as you can see, he can make the five in the side, but the cue ball's then got to go around the table. Plus, he's banking this ball. He might bank it. Interesting. Got to go three rails. Looking through all of the players' profiles, 96 players, remember, in this tournament, at the beginning of the tournament. They all had to nominate a favorite pool player. The majority of them picked Efren Reyes, including Ralph Suke, I would mention. And if you have a look at Efren Reyes' profile, that is the one area that is left blank. Play bad position on the six here. Very difficult cut shot. Nicely done, though. Nicely done.
Wesley around and Efren will be desperate to get a rack on the board in this match. Trailing by two wrecks to zero. No problems there from Efren Reyes from the Philippines. He brings back a rack. Well, Suke leading by two wrecks to one. A race to 11, remember. Scratched on this break. He made everything, but he made the cue ball too. What is wrong with Efren Reyes's break here, Jay? Talk, talk us through this, because he everybody says on their profiles that he's their favorite player. Has he not got a nine ball break? He's got a nine ball break, but it's not one of the best. I guess when you come to a tournament like this, where especially in the last match, we saw the balls breaking so easily, then the break becomes even more important. Efren's break is erratic, John. Sometimes it's a little better than other times. He doesn't have a big break like Earl Strickland or Johnny Archer, Oliver Ortman, uh, Chow from China. These are guys with big breaks. Bustamante, powerful break. This is the guy they call Bata. Efren Bata Reyes. And the players just call him the magician. Reason for that, he's able to make balls from all kinds of strange positions on the table. Spots where other players are looking to play safe. Efren cuts balls in, banks balls, plays combinations, billiards. He just makes a lot of very creative shots. I believe there's even a video out in the States called 101 Magical Shots by Efren Reyes. Ball taken from tournament play. Just the seven and the nine, though, for Rolf Suke to open up a two rack lead. Race to 11. They're playing for a place in the quarterfinals where they'll meet Toshikawa from Japan. at all, Ralph Sute, the Kaiser from Germany. Three racks to one over Efren Reyes from the Philippines. Ralph's back on track. He's got over that miscue from the last rack. 31 years old, still a young guy. In the qualifying round, he won all five of his matches, so he's highly seated here. Had a close match with Charlie Williams from Florida beat the snooker player Steve James last round. This is his toughest match so far, though. Fifth rack, Rolf Sukate's break, leading three racks to one. We saw the way that Chang finished off Johnny Archer in the last match. He, he ran almost six right. racks. Yeah, he ran almost six racks at one point. I mean, Johnny looked like he was in control of the match. He was ahead five to one. Next thing you know, you look up and he's down 10 to five. And all he got was two kick shots. Chang is maybe the third-ranked player in China. Chow is number one. Liu is number two, who just got knocked out. But the ways Chang's playing right now on this table, he's got a chance to win this whole thing as well. He's kind of the dark horse contender now. I mean, he easily knocked out the best American player. Ralph Suke, he's, he's got a little bit of trouble not putting the one necessarily, but keeping position on the red three here. Exactly, exactly. I think he'll just follow forward here. Just roll the ball forward, come up above. The, oh, he knocked the five out of the way. Very nice shot. That's the best, best result he could have gotten there. Very cerebral player, Ralph Suke. Seen some great safety exchanges in matches, including involving Ralph Suke before.
There's Steve Knight up there. <laughs> Preparing for his match. <laughs> Beautiful camera work. Rolf Suko just seeing if he can see enough of the eight after potting the five and the seven to pot it in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> Being very careful with his position on the seven. The problem being the eight ball. Now, from the angle he's got, I think he's got to break these balls up. I don't know if he's looking. Well, let's see. I think he can draw across on the other side of the table. I guess the eight will pass. If the eight will go by the nine, he's fine. That's right. It must do the way he's played it. He's taking a good look. It's tight. It's tight. I think he, yeah, he can get it through there. Good shot, Ralph. Well, he's keeping the magician off the table here. It's Ralph Suke from Germany racing into a 4x to 1 lead. Catherine Ray is there from the Philippines, 45 years of age. Came through the group stages, well, not superbly, winning three, max out of, three matches out of five. And then struggled against Juan 9 6 and that epic match against Jimmy White 9 8. As you can see from the was a nine. Wow. Broke the nine. Any time you put that nine with a legal shot, you win the rack. And we pick up the action now in rack 13 of this match. Efren trailing seven racks to five. We've been talking a little bit earlier on, Jay, about yeah. the nine going very close to the bag there. See this break again. Watch that nine heading towards the pocket. The five, five ball, ball just keeping it out. It set up a, nicely for Efren, though. That's right, a very, very quick finish to this game, the 2-9 combination. He can't miss this 9. The 7 ball is going to guide it in no matter where he hits it with the 2. Yeah. Straight in the center. We've seen Efren Reyes struggling with a little bit of his game early on in this match, but that's the last two racks. He's run from the break. 7-3 the score was when Ralph Suke was last at the table. It's now seven reps to six. This is a very important event for Efren. He's never really asserted his supremacy in Europe like he has the rest of the world. The World Pool Association has put together a great event here, a full field of international stars. And believe me, when this tournament's over, the pecking order is going to be determined by how they finish in this tournament. Talk us through this break, Jay. Have a look at this. His best yet. His best yet. Everything went here. Three balls on the break. Wide open table. Now we're getting to see the reason why so many players rate Efren Reyes as the number one. But to stay number one, John, you've got to do well in these big tournaments. And Efren knows that. He's got to assert himself right here, this week, right now. I think one of the things the players are going to be talking about, John, when this is over, is how strong the Taiwanese and Japanese players have played. They're the new content pretenders to the throne. That's right, the Taiwanese, the Japanese, and of course, the Filipinos. Efren Reyes from the Philippines. Training seven racks to six. 
These two balls to go seven each. Ralph Suke was up by seven racks to three. That was the last time he was at the table. Efren Reyes taking that rack. And the next three, he's run from the break. Efren Reyes up to break. 18th rack. He's got a ball. It's all about shape on the one. And that looks pretty good. The one's going to go right up here in the corner. The cue ball's going to drift over here for the two in the side. And Ralph Suke may not get to the table again. You know what I love about this game, John? It perfectly combines the mental and the physical. You've got to have both to be a good pool player. I'll tell you Looks what, like Jay, if he runs out this rack, one in the side. He's shooting the one in the side, going down and back. That's a little a of right risky hand here. Side on that. That was a little risky there, because he had to go through some traffic. The blue's going to go down in the corner. He'll slide across the table for the four. The cue ball's going to go back and forth, slowly across the table, just like that. Jay, if he takes this rack, this will be the most amazing finish to a game of pool that I've seen. He was trailing seven racks to three against a former world champion, Rolf Suke from Germany. Well, they don't play any better than this, John. I mean, eight racks, that's a big number in nine ball. But this Jay, is... it's not like he's even looked in trouble in those eight racks. He has made every single ball look so easy. I'd say eight racks, that's the high run of this event. It's probably equivalent to somebody running 135 or 40 in snooker. What a brilliant display by Efren Reyes. Absolutely tremendous pull. I've not seen a clearance like this, a run out like this. He was trailing 7-3 on the biggest stage and looked, frankly, to be struggling with a little part of his game. And then out of nowhere, he's just like clicked his fingers and say, oh, let's just finish the match from here then, shall we? That's a terrific finish. Efren Reyes beating Ralph Suke, 11 racks to seven. He's through to the quarterfinals. He's going to be up against Toshikawa from Japan next.